everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here i am diana and i'm back with another video thank you so much for your support to my day one service i highly appreciate it and if you are new here please subscribe to my channel and i hope you stay and join the beautiful friend squad okay so today's video i am going to show you this valentine's makeup look it's a simple glowy fresh you know makeup look with a bold red lip you know and i decided to match it with my top all right so this look is um it's a look where you're not gonna look like you try too much you know it looks like you already succeeded doing this look yes honey there'll be a little bit of eyeshadow you know let's just let me just not talk too much let me just get right into this valentine makeup look and see what i'm going to do or how i achieve this look i'm not a makeup guru so i just like to play with makeup and um i just like to have fun with makeup so i just decided let me just beat my face and show you guys how maybe someone out there might be interested and try this out okay so let's get into the video and don't forget to subscribe like the video and comment down below okay so, so i did my eyebrows off camera so right now i'm going to go straight and apply the eyeshadow and today's eyeshadow palette i'm going to use the smashbox eyeshadow palette this is how it looks so pretty okay so first thing first or first step i'm going to prime or um, i'm going to apply concealer on my eyelids for the base for the eyeshadow base give eyeshadow base so I'm going to go with the Revlon Color Stay. And then I'm going to blend that out with my brush. So I'm just gonna dab like that all over my lid. Okay, and then next I'm gonna do the same too. Then I'm going to using use my beauty blender and blend it in. All right, now this is the shadow, the iPad, the uh, the smash book, and this is how it looks. Yes, yeah, so I am going to go with almond for my transition shade. This one here called almond so I'm just gonna yeah I'm gonna use my fluffy brush and apply that all over my lid You can see I am just blending the eyeshadow all over my eyelid. So I go up a little bit. All right. So next eyeshadow I'm going to use is the violet. This one here. This one right here on my lid using the same uh, brush so I'm gonna start out on my outer corner blending it in to my lid like so Apply it all over. Mm -hmm. 
all right so now that is blended all right so i'm going to take another fluffier brush just to blend again just to smoothen everything nicely make sure that everything is seamlessly blended nicely all right so and the next eyeshadow we are not done yet i'm going to take this flat flat brush right here this one and i'm going with another shade right on into my crease right uh so i'm going to go with the rose rose bowler rose bowler this one the shade right here yeah so i'm going to place that right on my lid Then I'm going to do the same into this other leaf. I'm going to pack it right there. So that's how we are looking right now. Okay, so I'm going to get the brush, fluffy, fluffy brush, and blend that just on to my leads. Okay, and that's it. And guys, like I say, this palette does not have any fallout as you can see there is nothing so okay we are done with the eyes so next step I'm going to prime my face and I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Primer like my go-to primer every time like I just use this primer On. yeah girl needs to get some new primer and I did put moisturizer actually on my face already yeah so done with the primer so today I'm going to use this L'Oreal true March satin smooth liquid foundation this foundation it's runny but not too runny it's not a matte foundation it's lightweight it's just going to give you that finish skin it's like just gonna give you that skin finish of uh, kind of a look flawless glowy and also it's really it has a blendable texture in it so it's that's why i love this so if you're looking for like a beginner friendly foundation this is the best and it's very affordable and uh yeah it's lightweight it's easy very 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 easy to blend so i'm gonna use my foundation brush to blend that and then later I'm going to go with um, beauty blender it's very comfortable on the skin and feels very fresh so we're gonna blend that in as you can see
So now I'm going to go with my beauty blender. I'm going to add a little bit on my chin because I have hyperpigmentation because of pimples. So I'm going to add that little bit on my chin just to cover that. Okay guys, as you can see, it feels so lightweight. It's not really heavy on the base, like when you feel like you're wearing layers and layers of foundation. It's just, it sits really seamlessly on the skin. Okay, so next I'm going to go with the uh, Revlon Color Stay Medium Moyen, the same concealer that I use on my eyelids, just to to highlight my under eye, the bridges of my nose, and uh, my forehead. All right, so I'm, I'm going to blend that in with my beauty blender. Okay, so now next step I'm going to set my foundation and my concealer right away, right away. And you know the drill, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier powder to, to set that makeup. And I'm going to use my powder brush and I'm going to put the powder right under my eye like so all right so I'm going to dust that off right away and the rest of the powder I'm going to just I feel like I would want a bigger brush for the brush. I love this brush because it's a rip and does a good job. Now, the next step is just make sure everything dusts off well, nicely. It's, you know, all the powder is set in, in, on, into our skin nicely and the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to apply blush today we're going to contour no today I'm going to define my face with a blush this is the Maybelline brush guys this I get this brush I use this brush all the time and I've just hit a pan on it you can see <laughs> yes yo guys I'll be back. I need to get my blush. Brush. I'm back. So, so the next step now, I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to apply blush when contouring. I'm going to define my face using a blush. 
and today I'm going to use the Maybelline blush and I have already hit a pan on it as you can see guys I love this one I love this blush so I'm just gonna dip just like that bit by bit don't put too much smile and then apply like so this on the side don't put too much transforming yourself to a cloud now that it's done I'm going to highlight my face and I'm going to use the wet and well highlighter it's just the bone yes it fell and it's so this is the highlighter it's very 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 pigmented super pigmented All right, so I'm going to take my fan brush and apply the highlighter. I'm going to also highlight my nose. And I'm gonna put a little bit on. Just add more glow, honey. And on my chin area. All right. So the next step, I'm going to apply on my waterline. I'm going to apply a this Catrice from Catrice eyeliner. It's gold. So I'm going to apply this on my waterline just to add you know to make my eyes pop to make my eyes pop more Right, so next I am going to add a little bit of definition under my lower lash line. I'm going to go with Sunset. This here. And my lower, and my lower lash line. And I'm going to use a flat pointed brush. So next, I'm going to apply mascara. Mascara. And I'm using this matte studio. Mascara. Mascara. So I'm going to start with my upper lashes. I'm going to do the same to my lower lash line. Moving on the lips, I'm going to use the Retro Matte Liquid in the shade Feel So Grand. This one, that's what I'm gonna apply on my lower, on my lips. <laughs> Yes, I'm just gonna do that. 
I, this is super super much so I did um, moisturize my lips Okay, so that's how the lips are looking right now. So now I'm going to set my makeup using the MAC setting spray. Okay, so that's the finished look. And that's how we are looking right now and yeah ready for a glass of wine and some good good food for Valentine's all right so if you enjoyed this video please give us a thumbs up subscribe and comment down below see you next time God bless you and take care bye